Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're confident that this next session will intrigue you because we've been set a puzzle, AI plus X. And we're going to be talking about the connection between AI and science's greatest frontiers, its biggest unsolved problems, the biggest challenges that it has to rise to. So what do we make of that equation? Well, let's find out. I'm delighted to say that to talk to us about this is someone who presides over one of the world's leading universities. Known to many of you already, I'm sure, the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology really is world class. Please welcome up to the stage its president, Professor Tony Chan. Professor Chan, great to see you again, please. Salam alaikum. Tony, thank you for being with us. Uh, we have a global audience with us today in the room and online. So before we start, perhaps a brief reminder about the university's work. It's known by name, but just a reminder and why you're proud to lead it. Uh, we are situated in Thuwal, which is just north of Jeddah. We are in science and technology, research focus. We work on several problems that are of particular relevance to the kingdom and also to the world. Yeah. So energy, environment, food, and water. And recently, we added something called digital, which AI is a part of it. Okay. Yeah. So, so we might touch on... Touch yeah, on we'll touch on all of that stuff. Yeah. Now, the good news is, Professor Chan, you're also a mathematician. Uh, yes. So the equation in our headline, AI plus X. We'll get to what plus means. But I think we'd better start by what X means. In other words, what are the most critical frontiers that humanity faces? Where are you going to direct our attention? Thank you. Uh, by the way, I don't have a math degree, but I was chair of a math department and the <laughs> dean of the school. So, but anyway, uh, you know, if you look at areas around the world, around humanity, where you can potentially have the biggest impact, those are the areas that humanity has struggled for a long time. So for example, the areas I mentioned, right? Energy, we're going through a big energy transition. We still don't have a you know, source of uh, unlimited energy. Yeah. Fusion is still always 30 years away, although there's a lot of private investment. Yeah. Environment, we're in big danger of uh, you know, not taking care of the environment. Yeah. Food and water, still a big problem in most of the world. In the developed world, probably less of a problem. In Saudi Arabia, as you know, most of the drinkable water here is desalinated. Yeah. It takes a lot of energy uh, to do that. And food is a harsh environment. Yeah. So those are big challenges around the world. So the digital or the AI is uh, an, uh, a, a, an enabler yeah. that will help to solve all these problems. Yeah. The, way that, the way I think about this is AI is the new math. You know, talking about math, right? Yeah. So we've, we, we want our students to study math. Not yeah. because they all want to become mathematicians. That's because they study math, it can solve all the world's other problems. So that's the yeah. way I think about this. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me, we'll talk about how AI can rise to some of those challenges. But first, when you meet the students of today here in Saudi Arabia, what's your sense of their appetite to solve some of these grand challenges? Uh, enormous. I mean, judging from the student we have at Kaos, by the way, we, of the incoming class, half of them are Saudis. Yeah. So the rest are from the rest of the world. They are all intrigued by this. They want to be involved with solving the world's problem. Yeah. They don't just want a degree. They, of course, they want a degree, but they want to leave an impact. So I think this is actually a great source of recruitment, of talent. Yeah. That's why I, I, I see. But uh, again, in terms of uh, how AI can help solve this. Yeah, right? let's get down to that. So, so the areas I mentioned, right? So you have uh, energy, environment, and so on. So obviously, uh, AI can play a big role. Uh, Professor Jürgen Schmuthuber gave a talk this morning, right? So you, you heard him talk. Uh, it can be applied. Your, your smartphone, 20 years ago, it would be 25 years ago, as he said, it's unimaginable that it can do what it can do now. And it's based on the, uh, yeah. the, the advance. Uh, so if you look at uh, the, the, so the AI can help solve the problem I outlined and make challenges because of several things. One is, because of the data that they provide. Yeah. See, the modern era of machine learning right, is based on several things. One, uh, you have data, massive amount of data. Uh, so it's different from the old physics, yeah. where you learn Newton's law and Einstein's equation. You have data. And second, you, you have big computers okay, that can solve these fast. 
and your, your smartphone is a big computer. And third is you have smart algorithms. Mm -hmm. So you put all these together, it's like a perfect storm. Yeah. That's why I can do it. So you have these problems I mentioned, but in addition, the eggs I want to talk about are other areas of science. Yeah. So it could be physics, could be chemistry. You all heard of uh, Alpha Fold. You heard of Alpha Gold, right? That's yes. for playing game. Alpha Fold is for protein folding. Yes. So that's just one example. You can imagine in energy, in uh, many areas, this is waiting to happen. Right, and this is a great this London headquartered company, DeepMind, working on protein folding. So how in practice do we ensure that the great minds are drawn in to solve these problems worth solving? That's what you're looking at. So let me explain this through the equation. Yeah. I, I came up with this AI plus X. By the way, we actually have a funding program at Cows that we're starting called AI plus X. Uh -huh. So X is the other areas, maybe the unusual area. The main thesis is that you need to have the expert from the X to work with the experts in AI. Mm. So the plus is together you can do things, right? Hopefully the whole is bigger than the sum of the parts. But also AI can help the X in many of the, the talks here. But I think the less obvious part is X can help AI. Yes. Let me give you some examples, okay? So neural network, right? Machine learning is based on neural network. Well, neural network means it's based on how the brain works, neurons. You know, neuron is not the biggest part of the brain. Mm -hmm. I've learned from our neuroscientists. In fact, my vice president of research is a neuroscientist. Yeah. So the biggest part of the brain is called glial cells. G-L-I-A-L. -I, I didn't know anything uh -huh. about it. There are more glial cells than there are neurons. Uh -huh. And the glial cells support the neurons. Yeah. And the glial cells are what makes the brain so efficient. Yeah. You know, the brain is run on, what, tens of watts? A supercomputer is megawatts. Yeah. So they are the ones that make it work. I don't think the machine learning algorithm today have taken into account yeah. these other so, parts. So you're talking there about the opportunity to educate each other, that peer learning. Not just educate, it's you bring them together. You, you talk to a neuroscientist, you say, what is a glial cell? How does it work? Maybe there's some inspiration from there that the machine learning algorithm can take advantage of. And then both can advance. So, so there are so many what, examples like this. So, so, so what, why, what we'd like to know is, how does this look in practice in terms of the collaborations that you're setting out, the development? H help us paint a picture. Well, so you need to bring the people together. You need to be, uh, both sides should be humble. Yeah. You know, say, no, I have all the answers, I just want to come to help you. Yeah. you. You both have to work together, okay? So for example, uh, at Kaos, we started this funding program. Yes. So you say, okay, if you're an AI expert, if you are a chemist, if you have some big problem, a grand challenge, you come to us, we give you some funding, so right. some incentive. And I think we can see just, uh, just an explanation of this, um, some, some of your announcements here at the AI Global Summit as well. I think we may yeah, be able to yeah. uh, see that as well. But... I tell you why, because you need that. Because if you go to a typical AI conference or you go to a typical science conference, the mindset are different. They want to appeal to their peers. Yeah. They may be not thinking about that, right? You need to invest time to get to know the other side. I think so that's why I call this untapped potential. Yeah, got it. So, I think that's so, really so what how does that end up changing how we feel and how we think about talent, about that's education point. overall? So, so AI and training, right, and talent. Again, you need to teach AI. The teach AI is not just to university students because there's a huge demand out there. Yeah. I'm sure many people in the audience, you have a day job, you, you're thinking, what is this machine learning thing? I need to learn about this because it's going to, you know, eat my lunch, so to speak, right? Uh -huh. Or uh, I want to advance in my career. So you need to teach it. And people are not going to take four years to go to college again. So at Kaos, we're doing this. We're bringing the AI to Riyadh, to Jeddah. Excellent. Micro credentials, you know, a few days, a week course. Yeah, That's what we do. It up. The other side of the equation is AI can help education. In other words, when you teach, you're doing an interaction with the student. Yeah, let's have it's an example of that. Way. How would that, how would that so work? For example, you can use AI to collect data about how students learn. There's something called the science of learning. Yes. So even how the student uh, type in the computer, how they, the facial expression, how much time they spend on something. Uh -huh. So once you know a student, you, you, you can teach better. You can have a bespoke program for individual yes. students. Really tailored. That really is the untapped potential. Every time I meet you, um, Tony, I want longer with you, but today we don't have it. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in thanking Professor Tony Chan. Thank you very much indeed. Sukran, Sukran, thank you.